12.30 Pacific time, so I guess that means that it's technically 1.30 in the morning, because we are in Utah, in Salina, Utah. Wrong Salina, not Salina, Kansas, we're getting there. And we're stopping for gas. 36.26 for 15.77 gallons at 2.29 a gallon. So, Steve was just readjusting things. Kuma knocked some stuff over in his little trunk spot again. So, but the kids are all sleeping. Well, now they're all awake because, you know, we stopped and all, but they'll be back to sleeping in just a minute. So he's gonna drive a bit more, then we'll, 36. we'll switch. 36.26, 2.29 a gallon. How's the drive? It's a drive. What was your comment about the children all nestled all snug in their I car seats? I thought all, children are nestled all snug in their car seats. Well, visions of not here dance in their heads. <laughs> Steve and I are a little over the trip home. Or at least we have been since um, Arizona? Yeah. California? <laughs> it's been a while and we are ready to this, be home, but we still have a while lane, to go. The one lane highways in California went really slow and it kind of got me off on a grumpy <laughs> note. <laughs> so, but we fast uh, speed limits in Utah and not a lot of drivers makes for happier driving. Happier driving. Ooh, it's the next service, 109 miles. <laughs> I'm glad I got past it. <laughs> Me too. So after Steve's 12 hours, it's my turn to take a turn being the driver. It is about two o'clock in the morning. So Steve's taking a side of the road pit stop here at a, what appears to be beautiful rest stop in Utah. So the moon is crazy full. So like it hasn't gotten really, really dark. I mean, obviously it looks dark to you, but it's not near as dark as it is sometimes when we're driving. So, my turn to drive. It's about 2.58 and we are in the town of Fruta in Colorado. Just stop for a pit stop. Everyone else is basically asleep and they are going to go back to that way as soon as I turn this light off and I'm quiet again. So, on to drive through Colorado. I guess it's 2.58 Pacific time and now we're in mountain time. So it's really 3.58. Hmm. 519 Mountain Time, and we are in No Name, Colorado. I just got up and like walked around for a minute or two. Is it literally No Name? It's or? called No Name, yes. Awesome. We're at the No Name Rest Area <laughs> in No Name, Colorado. Um, we're a little ways outside Denver. So, we're back to driving now. Because that's apparently what we do now. We drive. 48 Mountain Time, and we are in Eagle, Colorado. Steve's just pumping some gas, and we're gonna switch drivers here. How was your sleep? It was sleep. I was having weird dreams. You made little snorry sounds. They're like they weren't quite bad dreams. Were they just? But they weren't pleasant. Were they just disturbing? Not quite even disturbing. Just not pleasant. Mm. Like. There were no sunshine and rainbows. No. Aww. I, I think we were on a high school like van trip. <laughs> well, there's your first drive. And, yeah, not pleasant. Not pleasant. Not bad, just not pleasant. Well, maybe I can sleep and dream of sunshine and rainbows. Ooh, it's a little chilly. Maybe it'll just get sunny because it's about to come up. I know. Oh, 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 you can almost see sky. I mean, that over there, there is some street lights. But yeah, sun's starting to come up because we're driving into the sunrise. 4370. 244 gallon. 244 gallon. And the car made the bing bing noise to remind us that the lights were on. In case you couldn't see that yourself. Good morning, interwebs. It is 9.18 Mountain Time, and we're back <laughs> in the cold Midwest. Well, we're still in Colorado. We haven't crossed yet, but we're getting close. Steve drove the, uh, the pass that was over like Denver and stuff. Stay on the curb, please. 
Hey, get up on the curb. Thank you. So Steve drove the past. He said it was a good thing we didn't leave an hour later. We might not have made it with the amount of snow that there was happening. So now we're here and it's lightly snowing, but it's not sticking. We just are running around using the bathroom. Got Kuma out so that he could stretch and go pee. And now I've got some Danish we're gonna have for breakfast in the car and get back on the road because yay, we're almost in Kansas, which will be exciting because that means that we're one step closer to being home. Eleven ten Central Time. And we, we just switched into the Central Time Zone. Are back in the wonderful land. Kansas of Kansas. You. We have left County Color Road. We have left colorful Colorado as the sign says and we are back to this. Isn't it beautiful folks? Uh high tech right here. That's a co-op with the trains rail going through it. There's actually not very many co-ops. We still have the train rails all the way up to them, so that is a little tech. So serious. I know. Now we drive. In some town in Kansas, how much did we pay for gas, Steve? Thirty-six eighteen, and it was two oh nine a gallon. How do you feel about that? Much better. <laughs> so maybe it's some poker. California can keep their eighty cents extra a gallon. <laughs> so then we'll figure out what city we're in. I have no clue. I thought it might say it's like the Atlas, but I don't know. That should be should be the last our last up, I gas think. stop. Colby, 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 Kansas. Colby, Kansas. The oasis on the plains, according to that sign. And did I mention that it's lightly snowing? Because it is. So we didn't miss out on Kansas springtime. We're a little worried that we might have. Nope, nope, it's still here. 3.15 and we stopped for AP on the side of the road stop. Just outside Clay Center. So we are back within our bearings. Home or bust? Well, we're home. It is 3.50 Kansas time, which makes it 150 California time, which means that we got home in under 24 hours? Yes. Wow, that's crazy. But we apparently got home to a mess. Um, this happened. That's our heater. We have it turned on because it was cold in here because we had it turned off. Yeah, this is all like water from the dishwasher. Is what, like. is what it looks like. We have not quite diagnosed the problem yet, but yeah. No bueno. But otherwise, things look okay. So we'll figure that out and then we'll let you know. Now it's like quarter to nine and we are changing light bulbs. Because it's that's what we quarter, get. Quarter to six. Right? And that's set forward an hour. Oh, and I read so it it's wrong. So it's quarter yes. to eight. Got it. Anyways, we... It's night time. It's night time. Time for Kendra to go to bed. And I'm tired, but I'm not going to go to bed for quite some time. But new light bulbs are in in that room and this room. So those are new and these are new. Hopefully it will improve some filming quality and some efficiency quality. We uh, we got them as a, a souvenir. We were at Osh. Um, they had them on sale. These light bulbs were marked down. From $6.99 to $1.75, which is really good for LED bulbs. And we got the 40 watt because I don't like them too bright. And we got the daylight because those are better for the camera likes them better. So hopefully this will make for better filming quality. Do I, do I look better in this light? Well, I probably look kind of a mess right now. But it's because I took the world's longest shower and it was amazing and warm and clean and in my own shower. So... Now we're. Uh, does Cutesy Poo want to pick up the light bulbs? <laughs> Cutesy Poo did. Oh. I didn't know. Yeah. Well, then you do need to keep the receipt, don't you? Yep. So it is time for me to go to bed. It is somewhere between 11 and 1. I don't know which clocks Steve has changed in the house 
and which he hasn't. Because he was messing around with things, but I don't think he messed around with all of them. So anyways, it is early for me, especially if I was still on California time, but with the car trip and everything, I have no clue what time I'm on. And daylight savings time ending and all the things. Time is just a number right now. But I'm going to go to sleep. Steve and I started watching season two of the show Love on Netflix tonight, which I am really enjoying. It is definitely a type of humor that Steve and I both get on board with. So I am um, looking forward to seeing what the rest of the season holds. And I was playing with some yarn. I need to film the yarn haul of the um, stuff I got at Joann's. But I've already busted into a little bit of it. I busted into this one, and I busted into these. Because I just couldn't help myself. Um, I did try and film it when I was at my parents, but there's too much background noise. So I'm going to film them again. But before I got around to filming them, because I kind of want to film them in the daylight, I uh, started playing with them. Oh, well. They'll look just as pretty on camera. They'll just be partially unballed. Okay. So I am off to bed. I have a cat that is just loving all over my feet. Say hi, Je or Manelia. Jezebel's over there. So, and Penelope has been out, and she is doing well as well. And Kuma is happy to be home. You'd think that after being cooped up, you know, in houses when we were in California, and my mom's, and then, um, like, in the car as long as he was, he would want to go outside. We got home, and we kept trying to let him outside in the yard, and he just wanted to be inside with us. So silly dog but by the time the kids went to bed um and steve and i were watching netflix kuma did go outside and romp for a while so he is happy to be home and yes i will go to bed now it's supposed to get colder again tonight um i don't think we're expecting more snow just cold but guess our vacation's over officially and i will see you tomorrow nighty night